With Insight Works, we've got the ability to do a stock take. We do that by using the count function on the warehouse management system. Within Business Central, to find this feature, we look up Insight Counts, and that will bring up Insight Works Inventory Counts. Within here, we can create a count sheet. Let's go do that. The count sheet will be numbered based on the number series within the system, and you select the warehouse location for this particular stock take. All right, we might want to name this uh, October Stock Take. The inventory will be as of end of month, 31st. Okay, and we will call this in a couple of sheets. We're going to call, we could call this Jared's sheet and Jack's sheet. So something so simple, okay, um, uh, I would generally, when we've got a warehouse that requires to use a warehouse management system, would normally do something a little bit more complicated. And that would be, for example, aisle A and aisle B. You do have the ability to put a filter on your bins. So you can say, for example, here, um, A01 to A02. And this aisle A will only be able to work based on this filter. If you scan any other bin, it will not have a capacity to, 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 to collect count sheet lines for that particular line. Um, some of the other features here, you can block bins and block a range of bins. All right, now other things on the count sheet before we activate it is to do with the posting setup. Uh, generally, you'll only have one consumption journal, which is your default. If you've got others, you select it your physical inventory journal batch and your reclass classification journal. So I'm going to hit that one there. I'd like to use the uh, batch numbers. That's fine. And I'm not using tracking lines. So we've got ourselves now account sheet. I can hit go on that. So that's now activated. Now we go to our zebra and we click count and we should have now available to us aisle A and B. Now, if you go to your Zebra and it's blank, what would recommend you do is go out of your count sheet, close out, go back into it, and it will save the record, which will allow your Zebra to read the information. Now, I'm going to be counting off aisle A. And so I double click on that. And I've got some codes here to use as an example. We're purely going to be stock taking this one item, this barcode of what is available in AO1 and AO2 and we're going to say that we've got 50 items in AO1 and we've got 60 items in AO2. As you can see on the bottom of the screen here it says scan bin. I'm going to scan AO1. Now it says scan the item. Loads the picture and it's going to say how many do I have. So I've got 50 in that and I'm going to hit OK. Now it says scan the bin. So I've scanned AO2, it says scan the item, scans the item, shows a picture if you've got that enabled, and I'm going to say 65 on that, there we go. So now I've got a count sheet that says I have 60 of the same item in AO1 and AO2 I have 65. If I go back to Insight Works and I refresh the screen, you'll notice here we've got count sheet lines here now available. If I click on the count sheet lines, I can actually see the stock take that was taken. If you've got serialization and you've got multiple quantities, for example, 50, it would load 50 lines for that one item against the first bin. And there would be a serial number or a lot number, etc., for every single line. All right, so here I can see a tag number. That's the, the number in the count sheet. Um, I can see here that there's a gap here, the expected quantity in AO2 shows me 13, the difference quantity is 52 from the 65. So when you're doing your stock take, it's gonna give you the ability to run some reporting here and show you what's going on with your count differences and your stock value differences. The final process is about copying count to journals. We click this and it's gonna give us the settings to choose of what to apply. Now, I'm currently running on a system date as of the 21st. So I'm going to apply the stock take as of this date.
just so um, it's it's uh, applied as of the moment that I apply this here. Post zero differences, update next account period, um, set item tracker. So this is all the defaults that comes with it. And from this, there are existing entries in the physical inventory journal, delete them, yes please. So due to the configuration that we're running, we don't use a warehouse journal, but we are gonna use the physical inventory journal. So let's go have a look. Inside of this journal, you'll see the lines and it already has applied two lines ready to go. The current quantity, um, it's got the cost, the unit amount and the cost difference. And from here, uh, all we have to do on this journal is go and apply it. So all we do is we go post, post, post the journal lines, yes. That is the completion of the stock take.